Okay, well, is that is that a speck of dust on my TV? Get off my TV, you disgusting speck of dust! You make me sick. What's up, guys? Jai here, coming to you guys with another video. Anton Doe. We're actually going to be doing a video on how to record and edit and upload all in one your PS4 gameplay that you want to upload. Make a video and put it on YouTube in HD, 1080p, without a capture card and for free. Yes. This is amazing, like, I use this for some of my videos, and if you want to look up to some of my top quality videos, then look up my video maybe before, that was probably recorded with the PS4 recording device. Um, I'll name a video on my channel that was the KSI video that I made, if you haven't, go check that out, link will be in the description down below. And that was recorded with it, perfect, absolutely amazing graphics, I'm not going to lie. And um, if you guys could drop a like, and if we could get 50 likes on this video, that would be ever so much appreciated. And if we get 50, if we get to 100, I'll do another one of these explaining more things in depth that you guys want me to do in the comments down below. But without further ado, subscribe if you're new, and let's jump straight into this. So, the things that you will need for this video are Share Factory, which you can download for free on the uh, PlayStation Store, a PS4, obviously. And if you've just got the basic microphone for the PS4, then that's fine. That's what I'll be demonstrating to you with this video. So the first thing you guys are going to want to go do is on uh, press the share button on your controller. Now, if you guys to do that, then press options and click on share settings. Now, if you guys want to record a live commentary, then this is what to do. This is what a lot of you are going to be wanting to record. And uh, where it says you basically want to click on video clip settings and where it says include microphone, you want to click that ticket. So then you've got this tick just like that. And um, now you're ready to go. So we can go record our game plan. Now, a lot of you don't even know how to record gameplay. Now, I'm actually, um, this is what we're going to be uh, doing the little video on today. And um, if you're wondering why I'm cre in creative on my faction server, it's to edit all of the spawn for the faction server because there's still a lot of stuff to do. But um, I'll just quickly start like a little fake video here that I'll edit for demonstration. Um, let's go. Let's just So to start the video, you double tap the share button and it'll start recording. And yeah, so let's do this. Uh, what's up, guys? Joe here coming guys with another video. Antar do. This is my demonstration for you guys on um how to record the PS4. So if you did, leave a like, eat chicken, and subscribe. And then you press the share button once. And um, as you can see, the video clip that we just recorded is right there. So now you press the square button to save the video clip, and it will say video clip save. Now we're going to go head over to um, Share Factory. Now, um, like I said, you have to download this, and this is all for free, guys. And um, this is the live commentary version. If you guys want a bit of gameplay, so you can do a voiceover. I will explain that. Just watch the whole of this video, and you will find out everything you need to know. So go into New Project, and you can say that you want like one of these at the start of your videos. You can have them, but they look really tacky and actually make your video look really newbie. So I would not suggest using any of these. So what you do is you can... Wait, I know this might sound really weird, yeah? Trust me. Choose any. So let's say uh, I'm... I'll just use the second sun theme. Now, where it says these three videos at the top and the this video here, the stinger clip, you um, click X on them all because they're already ticked. So if you unclick them, then you're not going to have them little, like, this stuff, this just disgusting intros at the start of your video. And you find the video that you just did. So mine's here, Minecraft PlayStation 4 Edition. It's an 18-second video. And then I just want to click that and press Start Project. Now... I'm going to rename the project for you guys, so you can name it whatever you want that's going to be easy to find. So let's say I'd call it um, Trial, let's call it that, we'll get this, and now I know that my video is called Trial, and I just click that, and uh, there we go. Okay, so this is our video, let's just quickly um, watch this, hold on a second, there we go, let's just watch this. Yep, perfect. Now, as you can see, the audio isn't that good for the video because I used the basic um, a headset for this because I'm recording with the Elgato recording this screen, which is called another thing with the Blue Snowball microphone. That's why my audio sounds so good now. But it doesn't matter because if you're just starting off or just want to make videos, people don't really notice that. It's when you get big and you have that sort of stuff. They're like, ugh. But if you do have a Blue Snowball, then I definitely recommend getting them. Now, what you can do is you can look. See this bit here? It goes black. So what you want to do is get it lined up like that, yeah? So it says like what time the video ends and everything like that. Now what I want to do is let's say 
What do I want to do? I, I want to... Hmm, I'm thinking of something to do for a thing. I, I want to split the clip, okay? So here, say that I want to split it here. I will click split clip, split, and confirm, yeah? And then I can split clip again here, confirm. And in this bit here, I can just press the square button on and confirm delete. So now I've got this. See? What's up, guys? And our day. I've changed it. You guys probably won't want that, but that's just what I'm doing for this little basic video. Now, um, there's what you can do there. Now, I would go to... Hmm. I can go to edit. I can do... Hold on. If you just give me a second, I could do add transition. Just like that. So I can have a little transition that I want. So I say that I want to wipe... Um, Let's see what this one does. That one looks quite good. I'm going to have that in just there. So now watch. See? Look, and now I've got a little transition going on, which is sort of adding my video in a little bit more. Then click on Add. I can go on to Add Effects. Now I could add things that I want. So say that I want... Let's see what filters there are. There's a lot of really good filters. Um, hmm, but there's a lot there. And I'm thinking I'm just going to use a basic sticker. These look quite newbie, so... Uh, let's say I have a fail, um, I'm going to, oh wait, hold on, I'm going to press transform and I can transform the sticker and I can just put it there, just like that. And the opacity, I just want to turn that like that, yeah? And then I want to go like that. And now in this part, in this section here where the split is, I've got the um, sticker there, see? Just like that. And um, so th that's really good as well. If you guys want to add music... Uh, you can go on to add music, and if you want to use custom music, get a memory stick and name it um, Share Factory, and uh, go on to non-copyright sounds and download really cool background music. But let's say that I just use this one, I can just select that and put that in there, and boom, I've got I've already got that. Yeah. Now what I can do is I can just look, see all this. You do not want that. When people have all this, look, just a picture of that with loads of music on. It looks so bad. Now I'm sorry, someone that I know has that, and it just looks disgusting, honestly. Um, now press um, the uh, square, press split music, and I want to split it there. And then this bit here, I can just press delete. So you don't have loads of that plan for the rest of your video. You can make it go down to say that here, I want, um, let's say that I want fade out. I can do the duration of that, five seconds. Have that there. So look, ready? You've got it. And it starts to go down. Now you can have that to start your video for an intro music. Um, let's add a bit of text, why not? Uh, everyone likes a bit of text and we're actually on that at the moment. So we're going to go on to add FX, go on to text and then find a the text that we like. So on here there's quite a few that you can use. I'd recommend just this basic one, uh, this one's like probably the best one there. And say that you want people to um, remind people to leave a like on the video, I could write leave a like, pardon me. Um, Oops, there we go, just leave a like, just like that, and then I can press done, I can press colour, I can make it go red, um, let me see, that's what that's what I want, yeah, and then I can go on to transform, and I can put it, let's say there, and then there we go, I can just press the square, and it is all done, so there we go, that's my little video that I've made. Now, um, obviously you can't hear the uh, music or anything, or my commentary actually. So what you want to do is you want to go onto the square, go on to edit music once again. And um, now you click add, or oh, no you don't, you click square, and um, go onto music volume, and turn the music, I, I would recommend on about, whatever sounds good for you. So let's say I pick 10%, just like that. See? Um, the commentary is a bit bad at the moment. That's the only thing that's wrong with my video. And as you can see, it's a bit like that. You can up on the commentary to so say that I press this. I can go on to um, clip volume, just like that. And I can turn that up to the max. And then, oops, sorry, did you do never do that mistake? Press square, go on to clip volume, press it to the max. And boom, see? You've done that, and that, that is all how you make your video. Now you want to upload it to YouTube. So press Options and go uh, Save Project. Now you've saved your project, just in case this is. Then go Export to uh, Gallery. Now as you can see, this was a very short video, so um, it exports really, really quick. 
and it's already in its 50s, so that's pretty, pretty awesome. And I just have to wait that to load, <coughs> just like that. And then, boom, it has officially loaded. Now you go on to share. Now we're going to be showing it to YouTube, so I go on to... Just wait for it, please wait. And look at that circle going around. Ram, 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 ram. Click YouTube, and then here, if it comes up with it, if it comes up with sign in, then obviously you just have to sign in. And um, once you've signed in, you're ready to go. See, so just sign in and sign in with your account, and then just name and title the video. The next thing is adding a thumbnail. So what I'll do is I'll just quickly tell you this, guys. Is I would recommend um, actually whenever you upload the video, you um on YouTube make it private then go onto your computer and add your thumbnail title and everything that way that's what I do and if this has helped then drop, drop a like because this is the end of the video so thank you guys ever so much for watching hopefully this has helped you out at least one bit if it did then leave a like and tell me in the comments down below what I should do to improve this video subscribe if you're new around here as I will try to upload more of these tutorial videos but anyways thank you guys ever so much for watching and all the suggestions for this video I mean I think I got at least 50 suggestions to make this so, yeah, why not? Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!